you called out Pitbull Crew. Oh no! No, 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 no! They yeah. have similar styles. Do you still want that fight? Oh, fuck yeah. Hell, hell yeah, I'm ready for it. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and I'm praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about, man. Particularly Tio Fibo and Steve Clagg that happened yesterday, man, on top rank. You know what it is. All right, check this out, man. You know, um... <laughs> you know, um, Tio Fibo has said a lot of things. And I'm not... You know me, man. I like boxing. That's the thing. I'm not a Tio Fibo fan. I'm not a... Javante D Tank Davis fan. I'm not a Canelo fan. I'm not a Tyson Fury fan. I'm a fan of boxing, man. I'm a boxing fan first and foremost. Of course, there's some fighters that I like more than others. But I love that about my channel because that's what people expect from me. You know what I'm saying? It gives me the opportunity to speak freely without feeling like I have to have any type of bias or preferential treatment towards a fighter. So with all that being said, Teal Fibo's performance last night was trash, trash, trash. Fill your fucking place, trash. That was trash, man. It was terrible, garbage, basura, and any other word that's synonymous with horrible. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to say, like, dang, Doc, you know, he won. Yes, he won. Um, and he, and he did some good things in there, but he was fighting Steve Claggett, man. But let's 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 talk about let's talk about what Tio Fibo has said himself. You know, I always be like, man, the fighter won. Give him some time to go back to the drawing board. Give him some time to decide what he wants to do. Enjoy the win. Enjoy the victory. But Tio Fibo has 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 once again called out Terrence Crawford at a higher weight division. Whoop, whoop. Crawford is looking slower. Gotta get him before he really gets old. He's getting slower. Look at the legs. You know what I'm saying? He said Terrence Crawford is, is old and he's slowing down. Well, Tio Fibo, you're young and you slow down. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so I know that, you know, his last his last fights, I think like last four or five fights, you know, they've been at 140 and he hasn't really gotten any KOs. You know me, I don't care about KOs as long as you look impressive. You know, he's not getting knockouts and he's not looking impressive. Look at Jermaine Ortiz and uh, Steve Claggett, you know what I'm saying? And, and then also Sandor Martin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so... So with Tio Fibo, man, I think it may behoove him to to to, to abandon his his his, his uh, goals. Damn, I'm sorry. I don't want to say abandon your goals. That sounds bad. Like you're being pessimistic. I think he should abandon his ambitions a little bit. Uh, at least put it off for some time and just dominate that 140. You know, he also said he wanted to unify. You know, the irony of that is that I just made a video yesterday, and y'all know I'm a, I'm a hey, Pitbull's my guy, bro. I rock with Eastside Pitbull Cruz. You know, I just made a video yesterday saying that, man, if I had to pick one person to unify, I'm gonna say Pitbull because I think somebody's gonna challenge him because he's considered like the weakest link of the champions. For, by the other champions, you know what I'm saying? For I think is a, I think is um, that they're wrong about that. I think they're incorrect. I think he's erroneously looked at as the as the weakest league because of his stature, you know, or, or lack of stature. You see, he's kind of small, just coming up from 135. But um, you know, Tio Fibo called out Pitbull, and I dropped a video saying that man, I think that Pitbull is going to be the first to unify because they're going to challenge him, and they're going to be sadly mistaken. He's going to be upset, you know. And whether you want to say. That 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 goes for all the champions. Tia Fibo, uh, Devin Haney, or he's a champion of research, right? So if you want to say Alberto Puello, uh Liam Paro, and of course Isak Pipo Cruz, I think any one of them challenge him, I think Isak is gonna win. That's what I like. And now this performance from Tio Fibo against Steve Claggett, that just solidified that because of the video I said, man, I think. I'm not sure. You know, because I still looked at Tio Fibo and Devin Haney as the best skill wise. I looked at Tio Fibo as a number one at one forty, but now no, bro. One forty I thought was a wild, wild west. And this is just, you know, I think that Last night was supposed to make it more like, dang, you know, make me be like, okay, Teal Feeble's that top dog. No, it didn't do any of that, man. It did not make me any more uh, uh, secure or any more confident in Teal Feeble's ability to, to conquer 140. In fact, it made me more confident that Eastside Pimple Cruz will win. So Teal Feeble called him out. I, th I I have Eastside Pimple Cruz for show. I think Eastside Pimple Cruz is a sleeper, best fighter at 140 of the champions. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's some other fighters that are contenders. You know, of course, you have um, Gary Antoine Russell. Who just lost uh, Alberto Puello? You still have Jack Catterall and, and Regis Progress. They'll be fighting each other. You have Arnold Barbosa Jr., who I think is overrated. He'll be fighting uh, Ramirez. I think Ramirez is going to win that. Um, you know, there's some other fighters. I'm sure I'm missing some people, but just off the top of my head, there's there's some good fighters that will 40. Uh, Sandor Martin, of course. You know, who, who's a challenge for anybody. But I think Isak Pimple Cruz, man. If I had to pick one of the, one of the best, I will 40. I'm picking Isak Pimple Cruz and Teal Fibo against Steve Claggett. Let's look at the pros, right? Teal Fibo, he was very active. His conditioning was good. You know, so I think he threw the most punches. That he's ever thrown in a, in a while, I'll say it, at least in the 140 pound division. I'm not sure if it's the most punches he threw ever, but it's definitely at least since he's been at 140. So at Tio Fibo, he looked he looked he looked confident in there. Um, but I will say this: 
all those, all that sounds good, but the con is that it was against Steve Claggett. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? And this is no disrespect to Steve Clark. He's a journeyman. He's good. He performed well, you know. Um, I don't think he really exceeded expectations because I expected him to, to pretty much look like that. You know, I give him a lot of credit coming in. But Teofibo, the reason why that's not a good thing for Teofibo is more of a knock on Teofibo is because Teofibo is looked at as a power for power talent. He's looked at as, like I said, the best at whatever division he's in, whether he's at 135 or 140. So we're going to treat him as such. He's, his, na- his nickname is the, he's the self-proclaimed takeover. He's calling out Terrence Bud Crawford, who is a top three power for power, whether it's Usyk, Crawford, or Inouye, whichever order you have it in. So when you're doing things like this, and he did it again and called him out, then you're gonna you're gonna attract criticism, and that's what we're gonna provide to you. You know, it's not it's not any hate or anything. That's just it's just my honest opinion off from what I see, from what I observe, and from my analysis off of his last few performances is that him going up to Terrence Crawford, he's gonna get slaughtered. He's going to get slaughtered. I hope he does it. Because, you know what I'm talking about? Because those, those fools, I think he's, he has anything. He can't hold. He couldn't clean Terrence Crawford's shoes. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm talking about? Forget holding his luggage. He couldn't clean his shoes. Now, now with that being said, like, uh, Tio Fibo, I think he needs to try to unify at 140. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he needs to go up because I don't think his power is going to translate. I mean, I think that's evident of his last few lack of knockouts, you know, so he hasn't had any, any knockouts in a little minute. I think that's evident of that, you know? And like I said in the last video, who has the most... Who has the highest KO percentage or highest KO ratio out of all the champions? You would think it's Teofibo, right? Wrong. You you damn sure know it ain't Devin Haney. Liam Paro is pretty decent. Yeah, Liam Paro's is good. But no, Esau Pippo Cruz has the highest KO ratio. So he, you you could argue that, he, you know, I think Teofibo is the hardest single punch hitter because we all know Esau Pippo Cruz overwhelms you. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, he, he's very, he's, he's relentless with his pressure. So you could argue that to you, I, I think the smart person would, would look at it objectively and think that Teal Fibo has the biggest one shot power, yes. But if you want to look at it in KO ratio, you could argue that, that Isaac Pippo Cruz gets you out of there more to reflect it that he has more power no matter how he generates it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think Teal Fibo, I don't think he did himself any favors as far as his power for power consideration or his top dog consideration. Like I said, I think he made, uh, I, I do think that he cleaned up the waters. The waters are a little murky at 140 to, to, to find out who's the definitive best. I think he cleared it a little bit, but he didn't clear it on his behalf. He cleared it to let you, uh, uh, to make it more evident and make it more clear that Eastside Pimple Cruz, in my opinion, is the best at 140. That's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Shout out to uh, Tio Fimo for getting the win. But I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta um, you know, I gotta approach it like that. Oh, also Robiesi Ramirez versus Benitez. I didn't get to watch that fight. Because I was watching, um, I was watching the uh, Bam Rodriguez card, uh, which had Sonny Edwards against uh, Adrian Curio, which I had to stop watching that fight short because the Tio Fimo versus Steve Claggett fight came on, so I watched that in its entirety. Then I went back and you know watched Jesse Bam Rodriguez, but we gonna get into that in the next video. Appreciate your argument as always. Don't forget to like the video, but more importantly, most importantly, don't forget with God we can do anything. Without God we are nothing. We all know what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. We out. God bless. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets